What up guys, this is Pastor Canavi again, we're coming out with another video. So this time we're going to be doing a video with C Sharp. So we did JavaScript before where we changed <coughs> the background colors of the browser. In this case we're going to be doing it the same type of example but with C Sharp. But we're going to be using Windows Form, which I already have it right here. It's open for me. <coughs> so let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and try that so we're going to be using we'll need three buttons so let's go ahead and do that where is my button right here we we need that <coughs> let's just copy this pam pam right there so let's change what we're going to do we're going to put that red let's change the text uh, what is the text? Uh, text, text, text. Oh, right there. I want to do red. It's going to be the name of the button, red. And now we need to change the um, right here, the name of the data bindings, so we can work with in the background. Do some changes to the button. So we're going to do red button. Okay. And now same thing we're going to do with the next button. The name is going to be um so green. Yeah, it's going to be green. Yeah, green button. So now the text is going to be green. Okay, let's go to the next one. This is going to be blue. Blue, blue, blue button. Let's see. Where are you, text? Okay. Blue. Let's go to the name. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like blue. Right here, change the name, blue button. Okay, cool. So we have those ones. Okay. Now let's let's double click in red. So we'll just take it to the code. So red button. Alrighty. So what we need right here, it's just pretty simple application we're going to be doing. We're going to be using this, that. For, we're going to be for the background because we want to change the background, right? It's going to be back color uh, system. Uh, yeah. System drawing. Let's just maybe not that one, but we're going to be system that drawing. Okay, system drawing that color that green. Oh, I mean this case is going to be this case is going to be red. Oh yeah, come on. Okay, so if we click, if we just go back in here, so the back color is going to is for the background color. So we run the program so it should so just taking a minute okay we just click on this button red because we are on the red button click we just click it it gives us red right but we want to work on that button right here too we want the button to look pretty nice all right so let's work on the button so let's just do another function or method. So I want to call this. How do we call it? Let's look for a name. And let's call it red. Red. 
red color. It gotta be more descriptive than that, but let's just try that. So in here, we're going to be, the button name is going to be called red. I think it's called red button, right? That's what we give it a name. That, we're going to change the color of of the um, of the button. So now we're going to use color. That we're going to use from RG RGB, and then maybe not these colors, but we're going to need for the red. We're going to do 192, and then we're going to say zero. zero right here and then we are going to go and change now that the four color which is going to be the text so we want the text to be white so system drawing yeah we have right there color that white so we want that now right here we're going to have a variable int we're going to have a new size so this is going to be for the font for the font of the, of the button we want to say 10 semicolon and right here we're going to say red button dot font because that's what we have we need that font and then we're going to say new font and then open and close the parenthesis and then we'll say red button um, that font font family in new size we're going to use that variable in there cool see we have the new variable new size is 10 so it will just apply that in that variable right here so in red color we're going to be using in this uh, constructor right here so we're going to say a red we're going to call that function or that method red color red color for the button and let's see what we have oh oh come on well, forget the void right there okay, okay. Right, let's run it and see what we have um take a minute okay so let's fix this really quick let's get to our design well it's taking a minute okay okay it looks like it's not let us do it okay let's close it cool beans and let's come over here to the design and see view designer okay and it didn't work what oh yeah no let's just run it what I'm, what I'm thinking uh, okay that's cool so we just gotta make it increase increase this button size all right so let's run it Okay, we got red. If we click it, bam, we got red. I mean, that's not exactly red color, but we got something similar, uh, close, close to it. Yeah. So let's work on the other ones. Uh, so basically, uh, we come to the designer. Let's double click in there. Let's go back again. Let's double click in there. Okay, that's what we need. Let's go back and let's just make the button the same size. Okay, now go back to our code, uh, CS form, uh, right here. So we are going to copy all of this right here. And actually this one first. Copy that. And uh, 
green button and also in the blue button. And then we're going to be changing. Um, okay. So right here we're going to say this is red, this is going to be green. And then the last one is going to be blue. If we run this, it should give us just a blue color for the background. If we just click it, green, okay, blue, nice. That works. So now we just got to work on the buttons. So let's create another function for this. Buttons. Pan. You know, let's just do another one right here. Should be in order, right? Yeah, and let's just get this one. So we got two. Let's just do one more. So we can get rid of this right here. This function. So we can... This one right here. Okay. And now we just call... We just change... The name is going to be green for this method, green color. Then this is going to be blue color. Okay, and now we just change right here. This is going to be green button. Uh, same thing over here. Green. Green right here, and then right here we're going to do green, and then right here we're going to do blue, right here also is going to be blue, you know there is blue right there, and then the last one we're going to change that to blue. And then that should give us what we need. Oh yeah, we need a color right here. We can just change this right here. We can, we wanna do, we can just do green right here. And now right here we can just do blue. And then we should be good. Let's just call those functions right here. So we just have green color. Yep, and then we have blue color, yeah. Let's run it, and then we should be good. This should be working as we expected, nice. Red, green, blue, right? Red, green, blue, green, blue, red. All right. All right, guys, thank you for checking the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And this was a C-sharp small application project. Alright, have a good night. We'll see you next in the next video. Bye.